right, today I'm going to the foundry. <clears throat> I'm going to be picking up some friends uh, in Bozeman who uh, want to take a tour of the foundry, and I figured uh, as long as I'm going to be taking them on a tour, I might as well take all of you on the tour as well. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today is uh, basically visit the foundry, do some business, and then uh, take you all on a tour. Hey, this is Gail, and that's Matt. He's uh, Okay, part owner. That's Scott. He's the other owner. Hey, and oh, he's yeah, preparing. Just gave you a moon. He's uh, preparing Captain Lovewell. Yeah. For molding. Mm -hmm. Making gates. These are parts, different pieces that'll come apart, and then we'll also probably cut the legs here and here for casting. Yeah. And probably take his head. Something. To cast yeah. That well, the whole head will come off because it's. It's just a yeah, but we're going to leave it to mold it though. Okay, you can. Okay, you're going to leave the hat on too. Yeah, and then because I I got it so you can take and it I'll off. And do a three piece around the hat. Okay. So you can see they cut the rifle, the musket off already. So Matt, how long do you think it'll take to make this mold? Mm, a little over a week. It'll really take about that much time. Because you got to let each layer uh, harden, right? Right, and just all the preparation, getting it ready. Yeah. Um, it's a couple days worth of work, and then it's going to be a couple days worth of rubber. Mm -hmm. And uh, a day at least, a day for plasters, and then the next day I'll be able to start taking it apart yeah. and getting the plasters ready. So. Yeah, when they get the waxes, I want to come in and just check over them. Oh, good. So if you could leave a message for me. Yeah. Now, where did you catch this paddlefish? I caught that on the upper So anyway, you see how they, they prepare it. This is a, his uh, left hand and, and forearm. And they mount it on this thing. That's how they're going to make the mold of it. This is his back coat. And they're going to make a mold of this as well. And this is uh, the musket and uh, part of the coat lapel. And then he just, uh, he just gets all these things separated. And, and he makes these so that the, there's less work to do as far as uh, pouring uh, or waxing it, uh, working on the wax. That cuts down on cost. I gotta remember to turn on the recorder. Okay, we're gonna go to the wax room now where they take the rubber mold and that Matt makes and uh, pour wax into it. <laughs> Now these are molds up here uh, waiting to be poured into, and they're not doing anything right now, but this is, uh, they have one pot of wax melted that's hotter than the other one. They do it cooler because uh, the first one has to have a, a finer uh, coverage, and then once they get that to do the first uh, layer of the mold, then they put this uh, cooler wax in there, and that thickens up the uh, wax in the mold. And here's a mold that's had wax put into it, and that's how they get the hollow wax, is just by uh, doing that uh, like that. She's getting a thrill out of a warthog here. That is, that is cool looking though. That is neat. Be careful putting it back in. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'll put it exactly like that. Now, up here, there's another one of mine. Let's see. That's called uh, Prayer on the Wind. You really get the face. You can Beautiful. turn it around so you can see it. And I got a little relief of his memories of life as he sits there with the buffalo who's uh, oh, God. disappeared. I mean, you just get the face. Yeah. Oh, I like your face. That is cool. Got it? Do you have it? Yeah, hold my camera. Yeah, no kidding. Don't drop that. Oh! That's been sitting there for over two years. You really get the face really good. But anyway, this is where they work on the waxes, and you can see over here, see this table where uh, Jeff works? <laughs> I know. That's really a nice face. Whoever that's that my, is. I think that's my. Is that yours? No. That, oh, that's Gary Cooper. I did do that one. That you was, are so good. That that's was that great. was for, that was from the Gary Cooper uh, the, bronze that they the, used to uh, give the over. Award at, at Don yeah. Deck? Yeah. Oh wow! And is that, that yours? And, and no, this is somebody else's. But that's that little clay I showed you upstairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that, look at that. Yeah. 
But anyway, they, they sprue it up. They put these vents. This is where the bronze flows into the uh, right. lower part. So and this no is a vent so the gases can come out. Yeah, no bubbles. And that's what they do, and they prepare it so they can make mold of it, which it will go in here to the uh, mold room. Look at this. This one's really cool. Yeah. Come on back here. Whoa! Wow! Now this is where they make the ceramic molds. And they got the fans going, obviously, to dry the uh, ceramic. Well, wait, how do we get from the wax to this step? What's they this? just bring it in here. The, he starts dipping it in a solution over here. Come over here. Okay, so he takes the wax and dips it in here? Yeah, that's a slurry. What is that stuff? It's a ceramic slurry. That is really cool. Look at and that. And then they first, and once they dip it in there, that coats the inside of the wax as well as the outside. Okay. With slurry. Then they turn on the fan in or uh, the air inside see the fan. See how hard it is normally, yeah, and now you can go all the way to the bottom and touch the very bottom. You see how it's kind of porous and squishy. Yes. Yeah, that's it. It's a little cavity underneath that that redistributes all the air, and then it comes up through that, and then it moves all the way around. That is really cool. How thick are the walls of the uh, mold uh, you make? Uh, like this depends on the size of the piece. Um, Larger pieces, uh, if you've seen before, we'll actually add wire to for structural integrity. Um, that's why we see that back on some of those pieces. It, it, on the very large pieces, I'll be adding wire to them just to help the structural uh, integrity yeah. of them. Uh, flat spots on them tend to fill well out really bad and they'll break. Full uh, pieces only get five or six, depending on the size of it, or if it's solid. Um, solid pieces. And that's yeah, five or six coats of the. Uh... Five or six coats of the sand. Yeah. All right, that's uh, it for the, the mold room. This is where they cast the bronze. Okay, so we're now we come from where that sand is to yeah. this step. Now they take the ceramic molds and they put them in this oven here. Right. That melts the wax out, and the wax pours down into that pan. And they can re re reclaim the wax. Wow, so now you have that a vacant hole. shell, the yeah. hole where you're up. Um, we're and then they bring those cups, the cups on the, the things. Yeah, and put them and they on hang here, them on the hooks here. And then here. they pour the... Mm -hmm. They heat up the bronze inside here to over 2,000 degrees. Wow. Oh, look! And there's the bronze ingots <laughs> it's there. No, it's gold bullion. Yeah, go pick one up and see how heavy that is. Oh, my gosh! Woohoo! That is heavy. <laughs> now, over there, see those crucibles along the wall? Mm-hmm. Those are made out of uh, ceramic material. That's the only thing that can withstand the 2,000 the degrees. Yeah. Yep. But they, they use them until they get a crack or something, or they just don't wear they out. Start but uh, this, burning them with that this is where they uh, you know pour the bronze, and then now we go over to uh, this place next door. So they take uh, the uh, bronze that they've uh, you know broke out of the mold, yep. and then they sandblast the uh, bronze. Now see, this one's waiting to be sandblasted. They did repairs on it, and uh, that's why you see a lighter color. That's where they've done the. Uh, now they got to sandblast it again. Now, bronzes, bronzes, they can't uh, color it or sandblast them in that little unit there. They have to bring them in here to sandblast them. That's why, like that big bird. Yeah, but that's why that big bird's there. Where they finish off the bronze, but let's let's take a look at where they do the welding. Wow. My, uh, a like a lobster, yeah. Working on a lobster right now. Can you imagine what the casting cost of that would be? With all those legs. Now this is Lance. He does all my metal work. Lance is an old cowboy. Uh, how are you? How are you? Oh, good. How are you? My hands are very cold. I've been holding on to these angle grinders. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, all the uh, bighorn sheep. This is Fred Boyer from uh, over in Anaconda oh, yeah. over there. Yeah. 
He does some of these for uh, I think Safari Club or something.